Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Welcome to another video in my ongoing series focusing on free, independent games. This is Lepton's Quest by Rusty Broom Handle and the guys over at IndieSquish.com. Lepton's Quest comes to us by way of the Ludum Dare number 24, and this was a game from the 72-hour game jam as opposed to the 48-hour game design competition. I didn't get to give LD24 the same treatment I gave LD23, so I wanted to pop over to the Ludum Dare site, just take a look around and see if any gems shone through the mass of incredibly cool games. And this was definitely one. It first caught my attention because of its voxel-based graphic style, and upon reading a little bit more about the game, I became quite intrigued by its design process. In what I can only describe as an absolutely brilliant move, Rusty Broom Handle used the community over at IndieSquish.com to actually create the assets for this game within Minecraft. Essentially, Minecraft was utilized as a sophisticated voxel editor. They had their community log on to multiplayer servers and build the sets and characters for the game. Those were then exported out to Blender and became the final assets in the game itself. Now, the idea of exporting things from Minecraft into a 3D editor isn't anything new. If you've ever watched any of the Yogscast Shadow of Israfel videos, well, that's exactly how those cutscenes are accomplished in those videos. But this is one of the first times I've ever seen a content creator utilize one game to create the content for another. And I'm not gonna lie, that little quirk was definitely the first thing that drew me to this game. But that's just a gimmick if there's not a game there to back it up. And in this case, there is indeed a game there to back it up. Now this is a jam game, so it's really more like an elevator pitch for a game as opposed to a fully realized game itself. In its raw jam form, the game takes up about 10 minutes of your time. They did refine the game after the fact, and that refined version will take up about maybe 20 minutes or so. I did play both the finished and unfinished versions, and the footage on your screen comes from the more complete and extended post-jam update. Lepton's Quest is a simple RPG about exploration and light combat. It plays from an overhead perspective where you take control of Lepton, the title character, who's a disrespected kobold who lives in the town of... You know what? They actually made a voiceovered intro for this game, so I'm gonna let them explain what it's all about. Greetings, adventurer. Today thou shalt play thine part in the tale of brave Lepton the kobold long-suffering resident of the fair and quiet village of Rolendas, where he hath lived his little kobold life grudgingly. For the townsfolk of Rolendas are not partial to rat-like humanoids wandering their quaint cobble pathways. All that is but the lovely maiden Petunia, who has always looked favorably upon little Lepton. That fully voiced intro, along with a host of other small details, are what take this from a simple gimmick, hey, we used Minecraft to make this, and turn it into an actual, complete, fully realized game, even if it is only about 20 minutes in length. So will Little Lepton the Kobold win the respect of the townspeople and the love of Petunia? Well, there's only one way to find out. Download Lepton's Quest today and play it for yourself. As always, you'll find a link to the game and all relevant information in the description below. I have been Big Dave scouring the internet to bring you the best in free independent gaming, and until next time, take it easy.